So they say that sharing is caring, but how do you know which sharing settings you should be using when you use Microsoft Teams? And more importantly, how can you get the presenter view when you're sharing your PowerPoint? Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Stuart Ridout and I am a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft. And today I want to talk to you about sharing in Microsoft Teams. So we've all been there in sharing when we've gone to that sharing mode. So here I am in a meeting. Let me just uh, jump into that meeting. And we've pulled up the share tray and have been confronted by a whole load of options here. So we've got some here, we've got desktop in a column, we've got some that say window, and then we've got PowerPoint and other things like this. So how do we know which one is the one that we want to use? And that's what I want to look at today uh, so that you know which option you're using, why you're using it, and then you can make a good decision. So let's jump back to that meeting again. So first thing we've got here is desktop. So I'm running two different monitors. So I can either share uh, screen one, which is my main monitor, uh, which is actually an ultra wide monitor, um, or I can share screen two. And that is my uh, monitor that I'm using on my laptop. So why would you use the desktop one? One of the reasons is if you're going to be switching between applications, then that desktop option here really uh, means that you don't have to mess about uh, sharing and unsharing and things like this, which can be quite a jarring experience for your audience. So if you want to share your whole screen, then pick the appropriate one from there. Now, there is a downside to this, and that is that if any kind of Teams messages come in or emails come in or anything that puts a message prompt on your screen, then your audience will see that. So just bear that in mind. So you might want to use the Do Not Disturb feature or the Focus Mode in Windows if you want to be able to kind of focus back on that. So that's that first one. The next one here is Window. So we've got a few different ones. So you can see here, all of the applications that I've got open on my computer are also here. So if I wanted to share, for instance, uh, this new employee onboarding deck, then I'm actually sharing this window mode here. And the thing is that if I then put something else in front of it, so if I put this notepad window in front of it, uh, the audience, the people I'm sharing with, they wouldn't actually see that. They'll just still see the window that's behind. So that's great. Uh, one of the things though about that is that if you then kind of go, oh, well, I'm sharing you something in PowerPoint, and then I go, oh, but I want to just share something in Excel, you have to stop sharing and then reshare again. And as I say earlier, that could be quite a jarring experience for the audience uh, and, and can sometimes causes a little bit of credibility into your presenting ability. Um, and the other one, just to be wise of on this mode, is when you think you're in desktop sharing mode and you're sharing a window. So you are sharing application number one. So in this case, we've got PowerPoint. Um, and then you want to show something in Excel and you've been merrily wittering away for two or three minutes and somebody goes, uh, well, just, just one minute, sorry, because uh, we can't see your screen. You're still sharing the other window. Um, sometimes that means that you feel a bit daft. So uh, kind of consider whether you want to use uh, desktop window, uh, either of those two modes there. Okay, the other one here, and let's just pop back to the share tray, is to share PowerPoint. So here it's showing me PowerPoints that I've recently accessed in Office 365 uh, and have opened up in kind of SharePoint or OneDrive, something like this. So I've got uh, this one here, which is a deck that I've been working on. Why would I share this rather than going into presentation mode and sharing that with the audience instead. So there's a few different uh, reasons that we could do here. So one of them is that your audience can move back and forwards through your presentation. Now, some people don't like that. Some presenters don't like that at all. Uh, but I would always urge you to think about accessibility because if you've gone through, let's say we've gone onto a slide here and let's say this has got loads and loads of information and you've kind of gone onto it and you need to move forward and somebody for maybe an accessibility reason wants to go back and see what's on that slide, then they're probably not going to call out in the meeting and say, hi, can you just go back onto that other slide just for a minute because I need to read something because I didn't get it or something like this. So actually giving your audience the ability to move back and forward in your presentation 
uh, is really powerful um, and it makes your content super accessible. Now, if you really don't want to do that, then you can click this button here and that will stop uh, the audience being able to move backwards and forwards through the presentation. Okay. But the other reason why you would want to do this as opposed to just sharing your screen is that it's a massive bandwidth saver for your audience. So we're all working from home. Some people are working on better connections than others. Um, if you share your screen, it's sharing your screen all the time. So it's having to send a lot of data, uh, send this through. If you share your PowerPoint in PowerPoint mode, by sharing it using the share tray, then it actually makes life easier on your bandwidth and on your audience's bandwidth because uh, it's massively reduced. So that means that the audio is then prioritized or the video is prioritized um, and uh, everybody gets a much better meeting experience. Uh, so this is the other way. So then lastly, the other thing I get a lot of is people saying, well, how can I share my PowerPoint and have presenter view because one of the problems with the view that we had just there where we share PowerPoint is you don't get presenter view so if you use presenter view a lot to put your notes put your structure and things like this in then it can be quite unnerving to use the presentation mode in teams because you don't get the presenter view that comes with it so this is what I do okay so here I've got both of my screens you can see that I've got screen number one which is my main monitor, uh, which is a very wide monitor. And then I've got screen number two, which is my laptop, which I've actually set up. Um, I've reduced the resolution to uh, 1920 by 1080 um, so that it kind of matches what most people would expect. Okay, so here on my main screen, I've got my presentation. Um, and you can see here in the slideshow menu, I've checked the button that says use presenter view. So now when I uh, share like this, then I've got my presentation over here and then I've got my presenter view here um, and I may have some notes. So what I do then is I would just uh, restore that down so that I can kind of get my screen like this. So I've got my presenter notes here. Then what I would do is grab my meeting and I'm going to put my meeting here. OK, so now if I want to, I'm going to share the content and I'm actually going to share that second window. So I'm going to share that second screen here. And now my audience or my meeting attendees are going to be getting this screen over here, that second screen. Whereas I'm here on my main screen, I can see if people put their hand up. Um, I can also see if I wanted to have see the meeting chat. Um, I can go through my presentation here in presenter mode, seeing the notes um, and Things like this so as I go through I've got the comfort of knowing that I can see the notes uh, I know that the audience can see or the meeting attendees can see my slides I can see when people put their hands up or what's going on in the chat it helps me feel a little bit more comfortable as a presenter so those are the different methods that you've got for sharing in uh, Microsoft Teams whether that's sharing a PowerPoint whether you're sharing an application or something like that so hopefully you'll find this useful uh, and have a great day